Hello, welcome to Liverpool FC News Today channel. Liverpool signed Virgil van Dijk from Southampton in January 2018 for £75 million and the defender has been worth his weight in gold for Jurgen Klopp. When Virgil van Dijk played at the heart of Celtic's defence, it appears he already knew he was one of the very best. The Dutchman spent two years at Celtic Park, where it quickly became apparent that the Scottish Giants had picked up a bargain from Groningen. Van Dijk would move to Southampton in 2015 where he would eventually become the club's captain. Liverpool and Manchester City then went head-to-head -head for his signature, before Pep Guardiola decided that Southampton's valuation was unrealistic. The Reds were happy to pay it, though, despite being forced to apologise for alleged tapping up in the summer of 2017 when Van Dijk met Klopp in Blackpool. Van Dijk would not be recognised as one of the best defenders in the world, if it wasn't for the confidence he has in himself. One of his former opponents in Scotland, has now shed light on the arrogance that makes Van Dijk truly special. Former St Johnston striker Graham Cummins has recalled a conversation on the pitch against his old opponent Van Dijk. He left the day after we played against them. That's my claim to fame, that's what pushed the Southampton deal over the line, that he marked me, Cummins told the Irish examiner. We were told in the dressing room, stop him, rather than him stopping you. Get behind the ball when he gets it, because he'll run the pitch no bother. The first ball, I tried to sprint with him and he just boshed me out of it. I was out of breath and blowing out of backside and he just turned to me and said I wouldn't even bother, I'm just too good. He is not the only player to reveal they have found it difficult up against Van Dijk. Last season, Troy Deeney admitted that the Liverpool centre-back was his least favourite opponent. The Watford striker has since had joy against the Reds, as the Hornets inflicted their first Premier League defeat of the season in February. I've said it many times, I hate him, Deeney told BBC Radio 5. I hate going up against him. He's too big, too strong, too quick too good on the ball, loves fighting, a good head of hair. Deeney also claimed that Van Dyke smells good and looks the part, as he shuts out opposition attacks. He added, one of those guys that sprays on his top as well, so it smells lovely. When he runs past you, it's like I can't catch you, but, 